Hi everyone, Gnev here. Mounts are like cars. You don't really need a fancy one, but it feels really good to have it. That's why today we'll explore the 5 coolest mounts in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion and talk about how and where you can get them. So without further ado, let's start the list with... Number 5 one of the best looking mounts in the game in my opinion, the Icebound Frostbrood Vanquisher and its 10-man equivalent Blood Bathed Frostbrood Vanquisher are gained from finishing the glory of the Ice Crown Raider achievement. Most of the achievements on the list you will gain naturally by raiding through ICC, but there are some pretty difficult ones to get as well, such as the Nausea Heartburn Indigestion achievement, where you can't spit on the users to slow them and the neck deep in wild achievement where you need to kill every wild spirit in the air on the Lich King fight before they land and explode on the players. The mounts themselves are absolutely beautiful, but I only have them on the number 5 spot because they're not the hardest to get. We'll get to those later. Number 4 I've probably spent over a hundred hours farming mining and herbalism in the storm peaks and I've never seen this beautiful beast. If you're the lucky person however who manages to see one of these in the wild, I'm sure you'll piss your pants from the happiness of owning this beautiful and rare mount. Oh my god! I just got the time loss prayer drink! Oh my god! They call it time loss for a fucking reason! Because I spent about a week! AWAKE! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! 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 Yes! Why it's so rare is because the mob that drops it has a 2-8 to eight hour respawn time, which it also shares with another rare spawn, Viragosa, that doesn't drop anything useful. So you'll be seeing loads of people flying close to the spawn points just waiting to see the glorious dragon come by. What a lot of people do on my server however is just park their character in the spawn location when a server reset is announced and just hope they are the lucky ones to get it. Even though it's not the best looking mount in the game, the rarity of it still lands it in our number 4 spot. Number 3 This beautiful mount comes from killing Gjogsvaron in one of the most celebrated raids of all time, Ulduar. For the mount to actually drop, you need to beat the boss with zero guardians, which is still to this day one of the hardest boss fights in the game. It was actually the boss that took the third longest time to kill in all of World of Warcraft history, where it took 83 days of the strongest guilds in the whole world competing against each other to finally down him. When it fell however, they were promptly awarded with this beautiful mount. You can imagine how flying this thing through Bori and Tundra would be knowing that you're one of the few people in the world that actually killed it. An absolutely brilliant mount which deserves its place in the game's Hall of Fame. Number 2 The rarity of this mount is a legendary and probably no other mount in the game says I have an extremely long deck like this one. The Crusader's White Warhorse was given to players that completed the entirety of the Trial of the Champion without a single person in the raid dying. As someone who's tried for this achievement many times, I know how difficult it is to get, as a single mistake or disconnect from one person in the entire 25-man raid will cause you all to lose this prestigious mount and achievement that comes with it. Tribute to Immortality. The mount itself is pretty good looking as well, but the meaning it carries with it is what truly counts. If you see a man with this mount in retail, you can tell that he was an extremely hardcore player 12 years ago and you should give him all the respect for it. Number 1 We all knew it was coming. The cover model for Red of the Lich King. No other mount is as widely used and loved as Invincible. And I know what you're all thinking. If it's invisible, then how can we see it? Not only does the mount look incredibly well, but it also has an amazing story behind it. Invincible was Artus's horse, who he had to put down after the horse broke its ribs, 
and the first thing he did as the Lich King was bring him back to life. And now, after killing the Lich King on 25 man heroic, we have the opportunity to ride this horse. How brilliant is that? Even though the mount is overused, and even though I see 30 of them every time I enter Ironfall, I still love the mount to death. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it if you liked it, and subscribe if you'd like to see similar ones in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.